Good morning, everyone. This is Lindsay, and welcome back to my channel. If you're new, hi. It's wonderful to have you here. I have a junk journal slash paper crafting channel. Things going on all the time. Please subscribe and stay. Would love to have you. So today is a restock, and what makes so exciting a restock in our website. What makes it so exciting to me is that this is the first restock in our new shop. The web address is exactly the same because I purchased that domain. So it's nevermorecreations17.com. But it will just, the shop will look slightly different. And that's because Shopify is now hosting it instead of Etsy. I ran into so many troubles with Etsy. Their customer service is really poor. Well, their customer service as far as talking to someone on the phone is good, but their support, their customer support is really poor when it comes to pattern, which is what I was using to uh, launch my website. So many complaints. So hopefully, you know, the Shopify thing will be all great and wonderful. Now there's a few items that have not gotten transferred yet. So if there was something that you were looking at purchasing that you don't see there now, please just send me a message. There's a little chat bubble at the bottom of the website and it pings to me instantly so I can reply to you or you can send me an email at the link in the description box, nevermorecreations at yahoo.com or nevermorecreations17 at yahoo.com and I'll reply and let you know, um, get that up as soon as possible so you can get what you need. So let's get through this restock. I have some, a few items to list. I wanted to have a lot more, but my time was really taken up uh, yesterday with switching to Shopify. And then um, my three-year-old has been sick, not feeling well. I haven't gotten much sleep this week taking care of him. And so, you know, just sometimes I don't get as much into the shop as I'd like, but I do want to show you some of the things that I made. And then I have a box of stuff for jo that Joanne made. And uh, if you're new, Joanne is my business partner and she helps me stock the shop and create things and uh, helps me with... Um, advice and all of that. So we work really well together. She has a YouTube channel, Junk Journal Treasures. You definitely want to check that out because she's always showing off her amazing uh, skills, especially her collaging skills. So if you like that kind of stuff, go over to her website. So I have made three different wallpaper pouches. Um, I think this wallpaper, these are so beautiful, these sheets of wallpaper. I wanted to hoard but no, I knew they needed to be used in something beautiful. These are um, eight inches wide. I'm not sure how tall. They're all approximately six, eight by six. They're pouches, so you can reuse them. And there is approximately 35 pieces of ephemera inside. Um, I've just used like a little, this is a key paper clip just to hold it closed. But, um, you know, you could do whatever you wanted to close it. It is stitched and then this one has a little bit of lace and then this little embellishment and then this embellishment here as well. It's so pretty. And then plain on the back because I really wanted you to see the wallpaper and I'm gonna show you what's in it. So these are all the types of things that I use in my journals to decorate. So that's what I wanted to do was give you kind of a stash pack that I would, I would be using. So here is a little cut apart from Avalon Rose Design. It's just a vintage clip art, but I have inked it all up, cut it out for you, ready to go. There's a little tag with a sticker on it, some little tickets. This is a little wallpaper envelope. I have a die that I use to make that. And then um, inside I put a little piece of ephemera and this is from my Vintage Image Club. You can check out vintageimageclub.com if you want more information about that. Here's a little label with a sticker on it. Um, it is a sticky label, <laughs> but I sewed through all the layers. So I would just put some glue on the back. An altered subtraction flash card. I've just added a little bit of fabric stitched on the side. This is from an, a book, a vintage book on Victorian furniture. And these are little bedside tables. And then on the back, I added a little label for, or a little piece of paper for a label for writing and a washi sticker. And then here is a set of new uh, stamps. Aren't they pretty? I was going to use these. I, mm, I want to say, who did I get these from? I got them from somebody. Uh, Might have been Mandy on Green Apple Gifts. I'm not 100% sure. But I was going to use these, but I do have others that are similar. And since I haven't soiled them up with ink yet, I thought they would be really nice to stick in here. Here's a little 
I sewed on the lace and there's a little flat back. If you love these flat backs, I know I do. They're fabric covered. If you love these flat backs, you might want to look at my um, Wildflower and Roses Botanical Packs. I'm wondering if they're switched to the new shop yet. They need to be if they're not. <laughs> but if you're wanting one and you don't see it, like I said, send me a little message. I'll make sure that gets taken care of. A little stitched tag, a little applique on a little uh, playing card thing. Here's a little shaker pocket with a ticket and buttons and some sequins and stuff. You can just cut it open and use it or you can tuck this shaker pocket in something. A little wallpaper ticket. These punch out their little tabs. A little Tim Holtz card. This is from a vintage book that is so sweet. It's just a little book page. So I thought you might like that. Here is a fairy postcard that Joanne gave me, but I knew that had to go in here. And she also gave me this car, um, chipboard. It's really heavy duty, really nice to put like in the front or back of a journal. And I just added some trim on that. Here's a little playing card. Isn't that cute? And then here is a cutout of a fence, a die cut of a fence. That would be perfect in a collage. I just stitched around one of these little Project Life cards. There's a little label punch out. There's a little vintage piece there. Tag. This is a little flip open. There's a little embossed butterfly. I got these in the mail from someone. I can't remember who. I get a lot of things from a lot of people, but really sweet. Thank you. And then some fabric behind that. Here's a little vintage bird from a book. A little paper ribbon. This is a stamp sticker. You can take the backing off or just add glue. Have a little Tim Holtz paper doll. A, I think this is a vintage, a vintage card. I don't know if it has the year on it, the back. Oh, I don't see that, but this is near where I live. So that's really neat. Joanne made this, thought I would add that in. And then Joanne gave me this stamped image here and I added it on this bow bunny background. Altered a little playing card with part of um, one of Joanne's printables. There's a butterfly sticker and a little shopping list and another sticker there. So uh, this is all stuff. Uh, if you watch my channel, this is the type of stuff I use all the time. So I thought I would share and make you some of the kind of things that I fill my journals with. Like I said, there's at least 35 pieces in here. And I'll show you the other ones too, just because everyone's a little bit different. So here's this one. It just has the one white flower. Really pretty wallpaper. I'm trying to go a little quicker, but just kind of show you some of the, this is a sticker, butterfly sticker. Get a fence too. Altered, punched out Rolodex card. Try to, Joanne, I believe Joanne made that. I think she made that. A little tiny envelope, and then I put in some of Summer. I got this in Happy Mail too. Love it, love these. This is a Tsunami Rose paper I turned into a tag. This is from my Fairy Frolics kit, but I backed it with some wallpaper and clipped on some sequins. Got this sweet little bag and, um, put in some playing cards that I got from Tuesday morning. I got from Vintage Rose Book that I backed with some wallpaper, a little gardening flash card. This is from a little book on roses. This is from a bird book too. This is the uh, Barn Swallow and Purple Martins. A little vintage paper ribbon. This is from Digital Collage Club. You can find information about her site and coupons down below, but it's printed on really nice, like kind of glossy paper. It's a little flip open cardboard, cardboard cardstock tag. I stitched and added washi and a sentiment. Here's a little flip out and I've collaged a little bit on the front there. It's another sticker, a doily. This one gets a washi roll. I love those tiny little yellow flowers. That's a new roll. There's a stamped Rolodex card that's a sticker. This is one of my ephemera pieces that I've cut out and inked. Little bingo card I've stitched on a die cut. 
it's another die cut little vintage book page about clocks I made it into a little pouch and then there's some little Tim Holtz like airmail ephemera inside there little altered paint chip card stitched that on and added a piece of ephemera this is a vintage postcard and then more ephemera little tags and then this is from Carolyn's craft tree and I just kind of embellished it a little bit so you get a lot of stuff in each pocket. I wanted to make sure you had tons of items to work with. And then of course, reuse the pouch. I've got one more. Isn't that, I love that cluster, the little butterfly. I believe I got these at Michael's and there's a white rose and a silver leaf. Isn't that beautiful, that silver on that wallpaper. And there's a lot of stuff in here too. This is a little Flip open I, I made vintage music paper. I just added a little bit of washi on that. It's a little card. It's a really pretty thank you card and a envelope. It's from a little book. And then you get a brand new stamp set here. I found this in my stash. I forgot I had it. I've never used it. I thought it was super cute, especially with Valentine's Day coming up. So I included that some little gold letter stickers, a little Tim Holtz boy. We have a telegram. This is a, um, I just inked it up on the back, but this is a Tsunami Rose. I think this is a calico collage. I added All the World is Bright and did a little stenciling on the back. This is a little open, little book, <laughs> booklet. <laughs> a couple pages of vintage birds. Little journal card, sort of, here too. Just inked the edges. Little cut flower cut out from a book. A very vintage grungy postcard. It's all like grunged up on the bottom, which I think is super cool. This is a 1940, the post office and courthouse in Roanoke, Virginia. It's a little page. And then um, I collaged up. Joanne had made this background with this yo-yo on it. So I added a button and a doily behind it. So I thought, wouldn't that be pretty on the cover of a journal or maybe an inside pocket? Another fairy postcard. You get Lily of the Valley. A little altered tag. This is also from Digital Collage Club. A little stamped mini Rolodex card. Another clock um, pouch. And this one has some little mini vintage kids book pages from a little book. This is a pretty card from Hobby Lobby. A card stock tag. It's one of those Tim Holtz file folder or whatever they call them. You can slip things in there. Another Tim Holtz little family and uh, whatever that's called. Label. So I have those. I wanted to make two or three more of them, but since I am adding things to the new shop still, and this video is going to be long enough showing you everything, I figured we'll start with three and do more later if these sell well. And then I have some cards. So I found these, this set of cards. It's a set of five or six. One, two, three, six. And this is actual um, handmade paper. I didn't make it. It's a store-bought handmade paper. Somebody made it. And it's beautiful. You can see the textures and the fibers. It's thick, heavy quality. And then um, I only have one set available. I just figured this would add, I can't get it back in there. It would add so much to your journals. And then there's the little leaf on the front. They're blank inside. So I've got those. And then I found some hummingbird cards. So we have sets of five, two sets of five. And it's all glittered on the front. All the white is glittered. Isn't that pretty? And then the envelopes are pink. So... Those would be so sweet to add into bird journals or things like that. I have two sets. And then one of my favorites, look at this. It's a mason jar with sunflowers in it and there's gold foiling and it opens down like that. I mean, that is just super unique and you have to see the envelopes for these. Isn't that pretty? Look at the inside. So I knew that needed to go in someone's journal as well when I found them. So I have two sets of those for you guys as well. They'll be in the journal supply section. Uh, the wallpaper pouches will be in Handmade by Lindsay. I have a set of magnetic bookmarks. These are, I think they're the American craft brand, but they're all brand new. 
and they just open up and they go over like a little piece of paper. Not a thick paper, they're not super strong magnets, but I think the top or side of a journal page. So you get a whole assortment of those that I thought you guys would like when I found them. I was like, those are really pretty. They would really add a lot to a journal. So you get a big set of those. And I found some cute paper clips and I made some sets. There are two sets of puppy paper clips. Look at that. Aren't they so cute? So you get four puppy paper clips and I have two sets of them. And you can make them face either way. And then I found these butterfly paper clips too. So yeah, there's sets of four there. So that's all I have. Not that much, but you know, it's something. So let's see what Joanne has sent us. I've already talked for 15 minutes. Great. Here we go. Um, so she likes to keep her collage sheets in stock. These are sets of six. Um, I've showed them before. It's just a restock of her collage sheets. So you definitely want to get those. We have four new sets. And then she has some reprints of vintage Coca-Cola ads. Uh, Coca-Cola is popular. These were from a publication she found and there's all these Coca-Cola ads. It would be super fun if you're looking to do that kind of a journal. So there's one, two, three sets and there's 10 in each set. Then we have four Christmas goodie bags. Here's everything in them. We have acrylic stamps, illustrations, playing cards, laces, trims, appliques, washi rolls. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Tons of stuff. So let's open one. Look at that fabric ribbon. Isn't that beautiful? There's a little reindeer charm clipped on there. See that? Okay. Let's get inside. I have not seen these yet. I know she was talking about them, so I'm excited. Of course, you can always reuse the bag. Oh, wow. Isn't that beautiful? Just the presentation is lovely. So here's your, you get a roll of washi tape. This one has red with white Christmas trees. Um, I don't know if they're all the same or not. I'm not going to open every bag, but like this has a candy cane charm. And I'm going to see if the washi is the same or different. Yeah, this one has it's Christmas trees, but it's green Christmas trees. It's a little different, but not focusing. It's a little different. So there may be minor differences, pretty much the same in each one. Get the little stickers. Got some Christmas beads and buttons and embellishments. Some laces and appliques. Isn't that a beautiful Christmas lace there? Some playing cards. I love these. Oh, look at that. These are little, I'm trying to see what she's calling them. I'm not sure, but she's collaged them up. Look like kind of big stamps. And then just little embellishments in here. <gasps> look at that. I love border stamps. And there's like little candy canes, but you could use them kind of all year round. Isn't that pretty? See, that's new. There's some stickers. And then just different papers. These make, here's some wallpaper and some like um, other papers. Some books or things like that. So that may vary slightly, but that's pretty much what you're getting. Love that Christmas goodie bag. It's just perfect. These are the kind of things that I would love using in my Christmas projects. So I hope you guys do too. There are only four of those available, so we don't wait on that. <laughs> William Morris envelope, set of four, one sheet of copy dyed paper and one piece of ephemera. I will try to get this relisted as fast as possible since she's showing it off. If somehow it didn't transfer to the new shop, but this is my paper pack called William Morris wallpaper that she used. If you're interested in that and you can't find it, please send me a message. I'm gonna get that up as fast as I can. So you have a lovely reusable envelope. She's collaged a little bit. And then inside you get a little piece of ephemera and a little piece of coffee dyed paper. And you get the entire set of four. So that's a lot to work with. Beautiful. I love that. We have a Coca-Cola ephemera, the sparkling story of Coca-Cola. So 20 pieces, reprints of vintage ads. So she's cut these out for you so they're ready to use. Isn't that amazing? 
nice quality paper. These are cut out from a publication. They're not copied. So, yay. Somebody who loves Coca-Cola is going to be very happy today. Let's see, four Christmas envelopes with sheets of coffee dyed paper. Okay, so this I believe is an antique papery Christmas paper that she's used. I have her shop linked below, I usually do. I'm on her design team, Joanne is on her design team, but even before that, Joanne and I were buying stuff from her because she's amazing. And then you get coffee dyed paper. So that would be so great um, to send as a Christmas card too. You write your little note, put your stamp, put it in the mail. I mean, how sweet would that be? You got four of them or put them in your Christmas journals or stocking. That would be great um, for a Christmas gift. You can put a check or money inside of it and give it as a beautiful gift. So this was a design team project for Tina at Shabby Dabby Do Ya. It's a journal lightly decorated with a collaged bag stuffed with ephemera. So Joanne is on Tina's design team. And I guess this is one of Tina's kits. Look at this lovely collaged bag with that window. All right, let's see. Look at this. Isn't that cute? Little collaged up journal cards. There's a little... Uh -huh. So sweet. Oh, wow. You get a lot of stuff. Little pockets. <laughs> we got here. All sorts of little pieces that you can use. Perfect. When I make my Christmas snippet rolls, I like stuff like that. There's a bookmark. Okay, so did I miss journal lightly decorated? Did I miss the journal? Oh, here's the, is this the journal? Nope. Okay. I don't know if I missed the journal. Is it in here? Journal lightly decorated with collaged bag stuffed with ephemera. Well, I will have to find that journal because I am not seeing it. Maybe it's further down in the box. So I'm going to set that aside. Christmas. Ta uh, tags in a box. I can't read. Tags in a pocket. So she sold these before. Aren't they beautiful? Oh, so pretty. And there's two sets of those available. So we have some more altered Christmas notebooks. You guys loved these last time. You have the little tabs. That beautiful a little bit of lace on the edge I love the creamy color of the lined paper there's Santa and his reindeer here's Santa I love his blue coat there's a green again the tabs you can separate it if you want to beautiful cardinal on that one let's see what this is maybe this is the journal that goes with that because these are some of the same. Yeah, so here's the lightly embellished journal that goes with this bag. It's either the same kit. Wow, this is so pretty. Oh, isn't that really pretty? This is the type of journal I would use for Christmas. Very sweet. And then you get that whole bag of ephemera to use with it. Very nice. You have that nice little sweet red closure. All right, so we have that. Still more in here, so nice restock. Two Christmas altered notebooks, two floral altered. Okay, so we saw the Christmas altered notebooks. Here's the floral ones. Look at that, isn't that pretty? Look at the butterfly. Very much like the Christmas one. And then there's one that looks like this. I want to make some of these when I get time. They look like so much fun. And then we have some more Reader's Digest. We have a green flowered one. 1984. And we have a dark blue one. 
1993. So we have both of those available as well. So I guess that is the restock for today. I hope that you guys love it. Uh, let me know what you think of the new site and the checkout experience. If there's anything you'd like to see, let me know because I'm trying to keep working on it and making it better. If you were wanting to add something else to your order, you're not seeing it in the shop, use that little chat icon in the bottom right corner of the website and just you know, ask for it and I'll try to get it up right away so that you can add it to your order. I'll see all of you in the next video. I hope you really enjoy all this stuff. It's inspiring me. I want to just go create right now, but you know, there's life first, crafting second. No, that's the wrong way around. It should be crafting first, life second. Let me know what you think. Life first, crafting second, or the other way around. Have a wonderful day.